Question 1. When merging onto a highway, you should A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. B. Slow down and wait for a gap in traffic. C. Stop and wait for a gap in traffic. Answer. A. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. It's important to match the speed of the flow to merge safely onto a highway. Question 2. Before turning left, you should A. Sound your horn. B. Flash your headlights. C. Yield to oncoming traffic. Answer. C. Yield to oncoming traffic. Before making a left turn, always yield to oncoming traffic for safety. Question 3. A pedestrian with a white cane is A. An elderly person. B. A school crossing guard. C. Blind or visually impaired. Answer. C. Blind or visually impaired. A white cane signifies that the pedestrian is blind or has significant visual impairments. Question 4. What does a red arrow light mean? A. You must stop and then proceed when safe. B. You can turn in the direction of the arrow after yielding. C. You cannot turn in the direction of the arrow. Answer. C. You cannot turn in the direction of the arrow. A red arrow prohibits turns in its direction. Question 5. Children on bicycles should be given even more space by motor vehicles because A. They are smaller and harder to see. B. They do not have the same physical reflexes as adults. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Children can be unpredictable and might not have the developed reflexes of adults. Question 6. If you encounter a dust storm while driving, you should A. Speed up to get out of the storm. B. Turn on your high beams. C. Pull over safely and turn off your lights. Answer. C. Pull over safely and turn off your lights. This ensures you're not mistaken for a moving vehicle. Question 7. A green traffic light means A. You can proceed if the way is clear. B. You should stop and wait. C. You have the right of way over all others. Answer. A. You can proceed if the way is clear. A green light indicates the way is clear, but always check intersections before proceeding. Question 8. The safest precaution that you can take regarding the use of cellular phones and driving is A. Use hands-free devices. B. Keep the conversation short and simple. C. Do not use the cell phone while driving. Answer. C. Do not use the cell phone while driving. Avoiding distractions is crucial for road safety. Question 9. If a traffic signal light isn't working, you should A. Proceed as if it's a green light. B. Stop, then proceed when safe. C. Wait for a police officer to direct traffic. Answer. B. Stop, then proceed when safe. Treat a malfunctioning signal as a stop sign. Question 10. If a driver looks like they might pull out in front of you, the safest thing to do is A. Honk your horn and maintain your speed. B. Slow down or stop. C. Speed up to avoid a collision. Answer. B. Slow down or stop. Anticipate the potential danger and prepare to react. Question 11. You approach an intersection with a stop sign, but there's a crosswalk line where you're supposed to stop. You should. A. Stop before the crosswalk. B. Stop on the crosswalk. C. Proceed without stopping. Answer. A. Stop before the crosswalk. Ensure the crosswalk remains clear for pedestrians. Question 12. If you're involved in an accident and someone is injured, you must A. Leave the scene to avoid responsibility. B. Wait for the police to arrive. C. Offer help and report the accident to DMV within 10 days. Answer. 
C. Offer help and report the accident to DMV within 10 days. It's important to ensure everyone's safety and fulfill legal responsibilities. Question 13. When can you drive using only your parking lights? A. In heavy traffic. B. 30 minutes after sunset or 30 minutes before sunrise. C. Under no circumstances. Answer. C. Under no circumstances. Parking lights alone are insufficient for visibility during actual driving. Question 14. When you see livestock on or near the roadway, you should A. Honk loudly to scare them away. B. Continue at the same speed. C. Follow directions of the person in charge of the animals. Answer. C. Follow directions of the person in charge of the animals. It ensures safety for all parties involved. Question 15. When can you cross double solid yellow lines? A. To pass another vehicle. B. When there's a car stopped in front of you. C. When turning left into a driveway. Answer. C. When turning left into a driveway. Double solid yellow lines generally indicate no passing, but you can cross them to turn left. Question 16. When making a U-turn, you must not. A. Make it on a curve. B. Make it near a hilltop. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. U-turns are dangerous on curves and near hilltops because of limited visibility. Question 17. When two vehicles arrive at an intersection at the same time. A. The vehicle on the right goes first. B. The vehicle on the left goes first. C. Whichever vehicle is moving faster goes first. Answer. A. The vehicle on the right goes first. This is a standard right-of-way rule at intersections. Question 18. If your vehicle begins to skid, you should A. Turn in the direction of the skid. B. Brake immediately. C. Accelerate out of the skid. Answer. A. Turn in the direction of the skid. This helps regain control of the vehicle. Question 19. Solid white lines between lanes of traffic mean. A. You should stay in your lane. B. You are allowed to change lanes. C. They are only for bicycles. Answer. A. You should stay in your lane. Solid white lines indicate that lane changes are discouraged. Question 20. To prepare for anything coming up in the road ahead, you should. A. Drive with your left foot resting lightly on the brake pedal. B. Maintain focus on the middle of the road. C. Continually scan the entire road and roadsides. Answer. C. Continually scan the entire road and roadsides. This ensures maximum awareness of potential hazards. Question 21. When driving in fog, you should use A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Fog lights only. Answer. A. Low beam headlights. Low beams offer better visibility in fog than high beams. Question 22. You should signal continuously while turning because A. It lets other drivers know what your intentions are. B. It is a state law. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Signaling continuously is both a safety measure and a legal requirement. Question 23. Parking is an EVR permitted. A. In a cross-thatched, diagonal, Pattern space, B, 20 feet from a railroad track, C, in a bicycle lane. Answer, A, in a cross-thatched, diagonal, pattern space. These spaces are generally for disabled persons or specific purposes. Question 24, when parked on any hill, you should always set your parking brake and, A, leave your vehicle in neutral, B, Position your wheels so the car will not roll into traffic. C. Keep your front wheels straight ahead. 
answer. B. Position your wheels so the car will not roll into traffic. This prevents potential accidents if the parking brake fails. Question 25. If you drive slower than the flow of traffic, you should. A. Drive in the right lane or right side of the lane. B. Drive in the middle lane. C. Drive in the left lane. Answer. A. Drive in the right lane or right side of the lane. Slower traffic should always stay to the right. Question 26. Before driving into an intersection after a stop, you should look. A. Straight ahead and to the left. B. Left and right only. C. Left, right, and then left again. Answer. C. Left, right, and then left again. This ensures you cover all potential paths of oncoming traffic. Question 27. If you have a green light, but traffic is blocking the intersection. A. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. B. Enter the intersection and wait. C. Honk your horn to make the vehicles move up. Answer. A. Stay out of the intersection until traffic clears. Blocking intersections can cause traffic jams and accidents. Question 28. If a pedestrian is in a crosswalk in the middle of a block. A. The pedestrian has the right of way. B. The pedestrian should wait for you to pass. C. The speed limit is increased. Answer. A. The pedestrian has the right of way. Always give right of way to pedestrians in crosswalks. Question 29. When a school bus with its red lights flashing is stopped on your side of the road, you must A. Stop until the lights stop flashing. B. Slow down and pass with caution. C. Stop only if you see children present. Answer. A. Stop until the lights stop flashing. It's both a safety measure and a state law. Question 30. If a tire suddenly goes flat while driving, you should A. Slam on your brakes. B. Gradually slow down and pull off the road. C. Turn your steering wheel back and forth. Answer. B. Gradually slow down and pull off the road. This minimizes the risk of losing control. Question 31. If an oncoming vehicle has started to turn left in front of you, a. Maintain your speed and direction. B. Honk your horn to warn the other driver. C. Slow or stop your car to prevent an accident. Answer. C. Slow or stop your car to prevent an accident. Safety should always be the priority. Question 32. When driving in the far right lane of a freeway, you A. Must drive slower than other traffic. B. Should expect vehicles merging onto the road from freeway on-ramps. C. Must give the right-of-way to merging traffic. Answer. B. Should expect vehicles merging onto the road from freeway on-ramps. It's a common point for merging traffic. Question 33. If you're involved in a hit-and-run accident, you should. A. Follow the vehicle to get its license plate number. B. Wait at the scene for the police to arrive. C. Both A and B. Answer. B. Wait at the scene for the police to arrive. Leaving the scene can result in legal penalties. Question 34. When you see a road work ahead sign you should. A. Brake and be prepared to stop. B. Ignore the sign. C. Slow down and watch for construction workers and equipment. Answer. C. Slow down and watch for construction workers and equipment. This ensures the safety of both the workers and yourself. Question 35. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, you should. A. Drive at a constant speed to gain traction. B. Apply the brakes firmly. C. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. Answer. C. Slow down gradually and not apply the brakes. Sudden actions can cause loss of control. Question 36. 
when should you use your vehicle's horn? A. To make eye contact with another driver. B. When a driver is going too slowly. C. When it may help avoid an accident. Answer. C. When it may help avoid an accident. The primary purpose of the horn is safety. Question 37. If a traffic light is not working, you should. A. Continue through the intersection. It's the other driver's responsibility to stop. B. Wait for a police officer to direct traffic. C. Treat it as a four-way stop sign. Answer. C. Treat it as a four-way stop sign. This ensures safety for all drivers. Question 38. When backing up, you A. Should rely solely on your mirrors. B. Should flash your lights to warn other drivers. C. Should always look over your right shoulder. Answer. C. Should always look over your right shoulder. It provides the widest field of view. Question 39. If you are about to be hit from behind, you should. A. Release your brakes just before impact. B. Press down hard on the gas pedal. C. Apply your brakes to prevent being pushed into another vehicle. Answer. A. Release your brakes just before impact. This can help reduce the severity of the collision. Question 40. A yellow arrow pointing to the left on a traffic light means A. The previous green arrow has ended. Be prepared to yield. B. Oncoming traffic has a green light. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. The yellow arrow warns of the ending green phase and oncoming traffic. Question 41. You should always check your mirrors. A. Only when changing lanes. B. When parked. C. Before slowing down. Answer. C. Before slowing down. It ensures that you are aware of vehicles that may be close behind. Question 42. When another vehicle is passing you on the left, you should. A. Pull to the right and stop. B. Stay in your lane and do not increase your speed. C. Move to the right-hand shoulder of the road. Answer. B. Stay in your lane and do not increase your speed. This helps the other driver pass safely. Question 43. After stopping for a school bus that is unloading children. A. You do not need to stop again if the red lights stop flashing. B. You should not proceed until the children are completely off the street. C. You can proceed if you do not see any children present. Answer. B. You should not proceed until the children are completely off the street. This ensures their safety. Question 44. When making a turn, signal at least blank ahead. A. 50 feet. B. 100 feet. C. 200 feet. Answer. B. 100 feet. This ensures other drivers have ample warning of your intentions. Question 45. What should you do if a vehicle is approaching head-on in your lane? A. Flash your headlights. B. Swerve to the right. C. Both A and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. Flashing your headlights can alert the driver, and swerving right can avoid a collision. Question 46. When should you not take your legal right of way? A. When other drivers want to drive faster. B. When it can help avoid an accident. C. To punish a driver who did something illegal. Answer. B. When it can help avoid an accident. Safety is always the top priority. Question 47. When driving on a multi-lane road, if another vehicle moves into your lane a short distance in front of you, cutting you off, you should. A. Flash your high beams. B. Slow down and drop back to allow room. C. Tailgate closely behind them. Answer. B. Slow down and drop back to allow room. 
This helps prevent potential collisions. Question 48. A no stopping sign means that, unless directed by a policeman. A. You can stop to load or unload merchandise. B. You can pick up or drop off passengers. C. You cannot stop, stand, or park. Answer. C. You cannot stop, stand, or park. It is a restriction to ensure the flow of traffic or safety. Question 49. When is it safe to pass another vehicle? A. When driving through an intersection. B. When you are on a hill or curve and cannot see in either direction. C. When your lane is clear and passing is allowed. Answer. C. When your lane is clear and passing is allowed, only pass when it's safe and legal. Question 50. If you're being tailgated, the best thing to do is A. Break suddenly. B. Speed up to create distance. C. Move over to let the tailgater pass. Answer. C. Move over to let the tailgater pass. It's safer to let aggressive drivers move past you than to engage in risky behavior.